We are back. So two things. First, very important thing is I got myself a little bit of chocolate. Someone from Finland. Oh, you can't see because it's too foily. Sent me some uh, that that phaser or fatzer or whatever um, chocolate with mint creams. And chocolate and mint is one of my favorite combinations. So that's really good. That's first thing. Second thing is we're going to see if we can maybe shop for someone higher stewardship. Or diplomacy, rather, I should say. Um, gotta be a dude. I don't care if they're married or not. They can't be a ruler, though. And we're going to see if we can't bring them to our court. Why can't I invite this guy to our court? He's just a courtier. Oh, there it is. I just missed it. And he'll say yes. Excellent. He's got great skill. So anyone who's already like a court chaplain, for example. Oh, he'd actually accept two. Holy shit. How, how come my opinions are so high? Because I'm gregarious. The seducer. Oh, I'm going to load up my court with a million awesome people. Hang on. Okay, you got no, because I think you've got a, a role. And you're a commander, so it's unlikely. Oh, you would come to... Holy crap! Dude. Our traits had gotten so good, I didn't realize we could, like, fill our court with a million people. Tell you what, let's find someone who likes us with high intrigue, too, because then we can maybe do some stabby, stabby stuff. No. No. No? Are these all spy masters already? That's probably what's going on. And they like their rulers too much. Ah, oh, here's someone. I will invite you. No. No. Uh, what else might be handy? Someone with high stewardship. Alright. Let's let that play out for a second here. Uh, we got a tip came in from Hamados. We said, or Homados. Hey, Quill, just wanted to say I'm currently studying medicine, and whenever my head gets stuck from learning, I go to your stream or YouTube and watch you. Your voice is amazingly relaxing. Yes, many people have said I put them to sleep. So, you know. Good no. Uh, no, that's great. Thank you. Um, there we go. Oh, did someone call me an impish poet? Impish devil? Is it because I'm a seductress? Is that what's going on? Alright, now I'm going to upset my husband by replacing him, but he is useless. We're going to take the person with the highest diplomacy, Garzi over here, with 23 diplomacy. Boom. Now what are your odds, fabricated claim? 20% per year. That's what we're talking about. Let's get this shit on the road. And yeah, uh, it's probably correct that the reason um, that the uh, king is not giving me a, a duchy title is because the only duchy I'm sort of really eligible for is the capital duchy. That makes sense. And it's going to be annoying that my expansion... Actually, I should expand to a different duchy. Because he's never going to let me do that. Um, oh, I have to wait. Uh, but yeah, I, instead of fabricating a claim over here, I'm going to fabricate a claim in this direction instead. Special character action. Whoa, 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 whoa. Is there a claim going on? It's my husband. i got to put him to hiding because someone's trying to kill him. Someone is trying to kill him. I don't necessarily know if I care. Mm, end plot. And you're saying no. I don't really care if she kills my husband or not. If he dies, that just means I can marry someone else, right? People are conspiring to kill my daughter. Now that is not acceptable. I am paranoid, though. Maybe it's just paranoia. Whoa! Ripped pillows, broken furniture, shadowed vases. My marriage to, to Jonas has devolved into an unending torment of bitter arguments and fiery rows. Well, I do keep cheating on him, so I can't blame him for being a little bit upset. I would be depressed. Actually, you are depressed. 
You've been depressed for a long time. But my lover, King Hugo, just suggested that we retire to the countryside for a few days of carefree romance and passion. What a splendid idea. Would give me a 25% chance of losing my depressed trait. Gives me comforted by lover for only a year, but gives me a little bit of a boost. Almost no risk of discovery by Jonas. Or, let's be together right under his nose. 50% chance of losing depressed, but risk discovery. Thrill of illicit love. Is he need more bonuses? <laughs> or I wish, but I can't risk it. I forgot to fill this up, actually. Um, well, I really want to lose the depressed trait. So let's be together right under Jonas's nose. I mean, I'm also not protecting him from assassins. So, you know, that's great. The funny thing is, like, I can't get anything worse than Unfaithful Harlot. I'm already there. And he doesn't hate me that much. Oh, he's depressed now. Did I lose my depressed trait? No, I'm still depressed. Damn it! That's a shame. Uh, my confessor, you don't have a title or anything. You know what? I'm going to take this option for the piety. I don't necessarily care if you like me extra lots. And yeah, I'm going to move you as soon as I can. When can I move you? Uh, September. I'm going to move you to Rhymes, and we're going to start working over there, because if we look du jour duchies, we'll work our way up to the uh, the Duchy of Champagne instead. Since our inheritance laws are primogeniture, right? They're not gavel kind? They are gavel kind. Oh, no, that's not good. Oh, I'm with child. Um, because if I just get a second county, if I just get a second county, uh, that'll split everything up, which is not good. So I'm going to have to move and try to get a duchy version. Because if I just get two counties, they'll get split between my two sons. Oh, no, wait. I only have one son. I keep getting confused with someone who... Um, is someone else. I might get another son. I keep sleeping around all the time. A new anti-pope. Is it September yet? Not yet. Rhymes is pronounced Rhymes? Rhymes? There's a lot of possibilities there. Okay, as long as I only have one son. Now, my fertility is going to drop. I think it might be time to eliminate the seduction focus. I don't think it's doing enough for us. <sighs> I'm not sure. I mean, it still means that the king loves me, which is nice. And we're going to want later on. I'm just worried about having more babies right now. I was talking about having lots. But now, I don't know. New important decision. Well, I can ask for a donation for my liege. No. Oh, receives a donation from you. No, 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 no. I'm not, I'm not doing that. That's crazy. Um, I can change the laws. I can't do primogeniture. Because we don't have the tech. I could do elective. But that's very risky. That's very risky. I'll get a favor. Ah. I don't know. It is really risky to do it. It's it's really strong for a lot of things. And very risky for others. Gavelkind just means that our um, my holdings will be split if I end up with a second son. So I guess I mean we can always change it later. If we end up with a second son when we have a county title, then we can consider changing it at that time. It's fine. You will be the only one voting. Do elective. Hmm. All right. Well, that would be all right. Um, my daughter, you are going to get some intrigue. Uh, what's your traits? Playful and Idolizer. So, what's got a good combo with that? Ugh. Playful. See, I like the idea of spreading my daughters everywhere with lots of high intrigue, and they can start murdering people who get in their way while spreading the Carling name. I like it. By sending this at this precarious time, you might gain the favor of your liege. So that's what people are saying is probably good. 
A lot of people are saying donate, donate. Elective is not as risky as a county. Beatrice! Excellent, we're making lots of lots of daughters. Now, it is a little harder to marry matrilinearly. There's often not as many good options, but it's still going to work out. So, uh, we have uh, our daughter, Rags. Rax. Over here, any special traits on Rax? We have a lot of daughters. Nope. We're definitely going to have to try to push for, like, better female laws if we've got these many daughters. I mean, just in general, because we're a good person. I mean, other than the, the stabby stabby, killing people, imprisoning and executing our husbands, that sort of thing. Other than that, we're a good person. Favor may get you that title. Okay, well, let's give it a try. Let's spend the money. Get a favor from our liege, who loves us. My courtier has requested he join the knights. Yeah, sure, go with my blessing. Give me a hundred uh, piety. Boop. For every, I believe for every hundred piety, I get a boost to my relationship with all my religious vassals. And I think for every hundred prestige, I get plus one with everyone in the world, which is nice. I don't remember. Hugo accepted my donation offer. Now I have leverage on him. We must make sure to use it wisely. So the king, who already loves me, owes me a favor. Ooh, one character owes you a favor. Make someone vote uh, like you on a counselor. Law issues, prevent or force realm peace. Ask your liege to press one of your claims in the war. Um, start a vote for your liege. Force acceptance of different things. So press a claim in a war. So almost what I should do is almost like fabricate a claim on something outside of France. And get him to declare on that. Because if it's, if it's a claim within the realm, I'm not sure what that's going to do for us. Values for relations bonus on prestige and piety exchange. Oh, have they? Oh, it's 250 prestige for a boost now? Okay. That's probably a good idea because it was actually too easy to farm a lot of prestige. Ask for realm peace. No, I don't care about that. Okay. So we need some claims. Fabricate claim on the HRE. Yeah, that's what we want to do. No, but I was thinking like over here or on England. Although England's pretty large too. But they might get in multiple wars and things. Who's this? Army of Bertrand from a peasant revolt. So that might be good. What if I fabricate over here? There's an actual duchy. You know what? Let's do that instead. I like to have duchies and, like, lands that are contiguous, but it doesn't actually matter that much right now. Uh, take a good look at myself and thought about my weaknesses and strength. After many hours of soul-searching, I realized I have nothing to be ashamed of. I like proud. It just gives you extra pre uh, prestige. Or I have many strengths but more weaknesses. This would give me humble, which gives me more piety. A lot more piety. And does make other people who are humble like me. But I like pride. I know that I'm great and deserve respect. I've gained the proud trait. Try to use favored request title. Well, right now we can't. It's not an option there, and I don't know if it modifies the other thing, but I can't right now because we're on a time... Oh, we don't have the prestige. Such a wonderful bouquet. The complex blend of flavor spreads over my tongue just as the warmth spreads in my belly. These monks certainly know how to make fine wine. I must visit the monastery more often. I have a 50% chance of gaining a learning, and a 20% chance of becoming a drunkard, or a 20% chance of becoming temperate. I mean, drunkard is really bad. Obviously, plus one learning is nice. Temperate is really good trait, though. Stewardship means a lot more tax money. I mean, is a 50% chance of getting plus one learning. You know what? Plus one learning is not that helpful for me right now. I'm going to go ahead and take temperate. Ah, we didn't get it. <laughs> Does France actually have more troops than England, though? I don't know, but England would have, like, it would be slow to get the troops over here. Ah, this is my, my first daughter, but the one that's not a carling. I should teach her to be more proud instead, or... Um, I don't want her to become ambitious. Ambitious would be really bad. I don't want her to compete for things, so she she can become proud, that's okay. She's not allowed to become ambitious because that would just cause way too many problems for me. Ambitious is a great trait for your character to have because it's like plus one to all stats. But it's a terrible trait for anyone else in the game to have uh, because it makes it way more likely that they're going to, you know, work against you. Let's transfer everything into my cup here. She is ambitious? No. 
Oh, she is ambitious. Did I? What did I do? Did I hit the wrong button? Maybe I did. Why is ambitious bad? Ambitious is a great. Tra it's plus two for everything. Um, but it just means like if she's ambitious, then um, she's gonna plot against me. So I guess she was already ambitious. All right. But yeah, she's gonna potentially plot and do things and try to kill my my son, so that she can get back in line. Because if she killed my son, she would be my heir again. So we don't want that. I know who you are. I don't care what you are. Um, why do I have to educate all these random children? I mean, I think they'll like me because I, like, mentored them. So, you know, it might be nice to get a bunch of people with high intrigue that like me. What are you? You're playful. So there you go. You can't just kill your child, though. You can imprison them. That's about the best you can do. Imprison them and hope that they die. All my council is out everywhere, right? Yeah, it should just increase the speed. Let's go to speed four for a little while. What? My husband! He tried to poison me! Also, I should stop... Oh, he's my cupbearer. I was going to say, I should stop making him my region. I should also stop making him my cupbearer. Um... Poison me. I will imprison him. I have no mercy for poisoners. Yeah, let's kill this fucker. Dead. Alright, let's get married. Ooh, we can marry a duke. Okay, but it's gotta be matrilinear, right? Obviously. So, Prince of Denmark. Heir to the bishopric. 35. I'm still young enough to have kids, which we may or may not want. We got a couple of different princes of Denmark available. Um, any good traits around? Any geniuses available? I mean, I suppose I could use the, the other search. I don't remember what the difference is. Like, what does this show me versus the other one? Although, this one it lets me filter for matrilinear, which is really handy. Starting to see the appeal of Henry VIII. That's right. Oh, okay, no, hold on. There's there's some stuff. So, genius was a no-go. But quick is there. Prince of Scotland. What would be handy... Maybe I'll marry for stats this time. Um, And I think what would be handy is max diplomacy here. Mm, that's not so good. What about Max in... Oh, actually, this guy here, Leo, who's 55 and content, has great diplomacy and great intrigue. You gotta remember, he's gonna give me half his stats. I think we might just marry for stats at this point. King of England is, is available. Uh, no, I, that was uh, before we went matrilinear, right? And we want to marry matrilinearly because our whole thing is we want to spread the Carling name. I can, like... This doesn't, like, this rank thing is really weird. Like, okay, sort by rank. We've got Leo, a courtier. Okay, no, let's click again. Sort by rank. We've got Godfrey, a courtier. Why would Prince not... I guess because no one's actually got a real title out of all these people. Can you marry someone with a claim and press this claim using a favor? Yeah, maybe. I mean, I could do some hunting around. Within the realm, someone with a, a title. Can we do something like that? So let's say we search, say, our realm, to make it simple. Men who are not married, but are a ruler. I guess it doesn't just have to be in our realm. These are all just mayors and bishops. Oh, there's a count here. He's only nine. The bishop prince... Now, a, a prince bishop, I think, is a count. Right? He's got no kids. And he's right next door. Oh, 
Oh, but is he willing to matrilinearly marry me is the question. Uh, and can he be married? What's your name? Etienne? I mean, you can get married, right? You're a bishop, but I thought... Can you not still get married? Maybe you can't, so that's no good. He's 13. He's going to come of age not that long. But... Arrange betrothal matrilinear. Me and him. No. And that's the problem with this screen. Is you can find more stuff, but I want to filter it to people who are willing to marry matrilinearly. Yeah, some religions can get married. And actually, at this time, uh, priests and bishops and popes and shit could get married. All the time. Um... I just always forget, like, that the game doesn't do that. But they got married all the time during this time period. It was fine. Do, 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 Yeah, so I'm not going to use that interface. So I'll just pick someone from here who's willing to matrilinearly marry. Um, and I think I'm just going to marry that older dude for stats. He's 55. He's not that old. An elusive shadow. Like, he's got great stats. Very good stats. And I think that's fine. Uh... You do have a claim on all of Denmark, which is interesting. I mean, so do you, right? Which one of you two have better stats? Well, you have more martial, but I don't really care about the martial stats. You have more intrigue and the same amount of diplomacy. Maybe uh, you're just a legitimized bastard, but I don't think that matters. We might bury Sven here. And then there's Ulf. So Ulf, you got a claim on all of England. Um, you're gay. So that's not going to work out real well for me. <laughs> I mean, you'll still give me stats, which I guess is good. Alright, let's marry one of these Danish prince. I think Sven. He's a little older of the two. And he was a bastard, though. But he's legitimized, so I don't think that matters. Because you can inherit... You just got a minus one diplomacy. Oh, you're both bastards. Doesn't matter. But you've got better stats. Sven? Gay is only minus 15%. Yeah, that's not the end of the world. Just checking the chat. Use the favor for the claim on Denmark. Ooh. Listen, Sven. So, matrilinear marriage. We're going to get a bunch of prestige. Which is nice. Done. Okay. So I'd accept your suggestion. Excellent. Ooh. My leash hosts many titles. As loyal vassal, certainly he will spare me some. Yeah, it doesn't seem like that they're going to do that. Yeah, we can't press a claim as is. Which is interesting. Harold the Ill Ruler. Oh yeah, I'm in a non-aggression pact. Because I just married one of his kids. Yeah, so then that's gonna happen. Should I just keep bugging him for a title? And maybe he'll give me something at some point? Like, he's got a bunch of counties, too. He's got a bunch of counties. Like, give me a county, come on. Dude, just give me a title. Just, just a, a title, come on. One little title, that's all I want. Oh, we got a lot of titles to give out. Um, there we go. <laughs> Let's see if we can't make that guy like me a little bit more. You're right, court chaplain. Let's make you like me a little bit more as well. Cup bear has to be someone who really likes me. We'll make the mayor, so he'll like me even further. He's also content, I think, so that makes it even better. And we'll make sure... Yeah, so content, so we're going to make our potential regent, our marshal here, slash mayor, make him like us as much as possible. There we go. And a child. Who's this? Madman Loose Carling! We will give you... I'm just going to keep, like, switching up, so everyone will be slightly different. You can get a sense of duty. 
Conscientious. There we go. So everyone's going to have a slightly different flavor. Oh, more likely spare if they have more than the max. Yes, yeah, so we have to wait until they're above there. Do favors pass by succession? I bet you don't. You have favor, get title. Yeah, it doesn't, um... Didn't work. We'll work on it. Anyway, this guy has like a 20% chance per year to fabricate a claim. I can get to work there, buddy. Everyone in my realm is working. Yes, they are. Money is coming in. Start a faction. Nope. We're good. Who dis? Some other kid. Uh, you are going to get um, screw chip. Congratulations. Blackmail him with information about his illicit lover. Right. I'm not using any mods, Dance with Angels. It's just vanilla. All, all, all the DLC, but no mods. Bum, 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 bum. What is France? Late feudal administration laws. So what does that do for us? Can I tweak any of my own uh, mods? I've got my county. Ah, oh, I want to be able to revoke titles. Now, if I do this, I'm not going to be able to change laws again for 10 years. We have to be a little careful because it's possible. Well, right now we don't need elective yet, so I guess that's going to be okay. Yeah, uh, oh, administration. If we switch to late here, allows additional succession laws. Ah! All right, let's try to push for that. Because I think that might let me even go to primogeniture. We'll see how it goes. Who's this? Haveril! My heir. Oh, I'm ill. Avril, my strong heir. You are also currently playful and haughty. Now, playful combos with intrigue education. And it goes badly with these two. But we could do diplomatic, martial, or intrigue. Intrigue might have the best boost. But these two are really good. I mean, being diplomatic is good. There's no penalties. But Intrigue is always handy, right? Select that. Oh my god, it just died! Okay! What does that do for my plans? I'm no longer... having the king as my lover. And my husband is no longer the prince of Denmark, and we never had a kid together, which is too bad. Okay, I think I think we're fine though. Countess Adele died at age 33 after a period of illness, a short period of illness. But she'd been depressed for a long time. So these are all modifiers, right? Health or being depressed gives you minus one health. Being ill gives you minus two health, and your health um, acts as a modifier to a die roll that happens like every month or whatever it is um, that gives you a chance of dying at any given time. So by stacking all these ill health modifiers, there was an increased chance that we might just fall over and die at some point, which is really unfortunate. On the other hand, Count Haverill, it's a shame that we couldn't get more things lined up for him in time, but he's still young and he has a bonus to health. Assuming he survives the early eras, eras here, where he's a little bit more vulnerable maybe to being uh, assassinated, assuming he survives that, he should last for a good long time, which is going to be quite nice. So be it. My heir right now is my half-sister of not the Carling line, so dying right now would be very bad. Slow down. Slow down the time. All right. Um, let's appoint some, some counselors. Uh, yeah, we're going to keep Garzi because he's really good, and we're going to go back to... Um, oh, my God, all my favors! Because I don't think that carries over. The council's currently discontent, but hopefully they'll get okay. Um... It'd be really nice if we could get a duchy one. I don't... I think you need 25 to become able to um, make a claim on a duchy, isn't it? Are you married? You're not married. Let's marry you to someone with the highest possible diplomacy. How about this lady over here? She's gay. So I'm, I'm, I'm sorry about that, but I really don't care if you have babies or not. I guess, yeah, I really don't care, actually. So I could marry off to someone else who has the same diplomacy, but I really don't care. 